And now to a 40-year mystery, a bizarre reverse cold case murder. And for us here at KGET, something of a passion project. But tonight, breaking news from the sheriff's office. At long last, we finally know the name of the woman left for dead four decades ago. 17's Raphael Stroud is here now with more on the department's announcement. Raphael. Tammy, we told this story in our special report, Murdered and Forgotten, but investigators in a nonprofit that uses genealogy to solve cases never gave up on her. A victim whose identity was unknown even after her killer was sent to prison. For decades, she was known as Kern County Jane Doe No. 5, a young woman found dead just outside an orchard north of Bakersfield, a gruesome scene discovered the day of July 14th in 1980. And over the years, we had not a single inquiry about her and the case grew cold. In a video released by the sheriff's office, her name was finally revealed. During Crime Victims Week, I'm pleased to highlight the identification of Shirley Suse. Shirley Suse was finally identified last year when her niece, Violet, came across a post by the DNA Doe Project that had been asking for possible family members to upload their DNA. Uh, she would send birthday cards and Christmas cards to my grandmother until 79 or 80, the cards quit. The nonprofit uses DNA samples to help law enforcement agencies identify victims. We, we feel very close to them and really an obligation to return their name to them because everybody deserves that. In 2018, 17 News covered Suse's case with a special report, Murdered and Forgotten. Did a woman you know disappear in 1980? That's when two women were brutally murdered in Central California. With our former crime reporter, Olivia Lavoie, detailing the murders of Suse and another woman found days later in Ventura County. That was the year Ventura County officials prosecuted convicted rapist Wilson Chuist for both women, even before either of their names were known. Don't ever give up. No matter what, what's going on, if you got a victim of a crime and that crime's unsolved, never stop solving it. And the fact that we were able to identify uh, Jane Doe Kern County is remarkable, and I'm, I'm certainly hopeful that uh, Jane Doe Ventura County gets identified soon. 17 News created a copyright-free website dedicated purely to sharing everything we know about each case to help spread the word and bring a name to the victims. And you can see that full report at murderedandforgotten.com. When we say that everything is copyright free, we mean anyone from any outlet can use our report to try and help identify Ventura County Jane Doe. If you think you know how to solve that case, reach out to the DNA Doe Project at dnadoeproject.org. In studio, I'm Raphael Stroud for 17 News.